What's up guys, Jason here. Just as the title and thumbnail suggest, I'd like to take it back to where it all began. Back in 2009, I first started my channel called Thrift Store Finds by Green January. We're gonna dive into one of my first videos. I'll interject with a few funny comments here and there and we'll watch it together. Let's jump right into this. So first let's address the obvious here. I did used to have long hair. When I first got out of the military, I was like, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Let me just grow it out. And it actually gets longer than this in later videos. It gets down to my shoulders. But look how there's only gel at the first part of my hair. It looks like I took some old LA looks gel and just did like this and then stopped because the rest of it is dry. Only $3.99 and I thought it was a pretty good deal. I looked it up on eBay. It sells for about $6. And this small room that you're seeing here, this is actually a walk-in closet and a spare bedroom for an apartment my wife and I used to rent way back in the day. Um, instead of just filling my room with video game junk and action figures, I wanted to have it all in one contained area, so the walk-in closet was perfect for what I wanted. And this room actually grows a lot. You can see how this top shelf is pretty empty at the moment. That gets filled with other board games, action figures, and just posters on the wall and stuff. Been in the back of the store, I wasn't expecting to find any more video games, but I was surprised to see a small stack of 64 games just deep within the shelves. I found uh, 007, The World Is Not Enough. All these 64 games are only $1.99. So $2 for 007, it usually sells for about $10 on eBay. Next was Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which I think is worth about 12 to 16. You can see here I'm showing off some Nintendo 64 games that I found for $1.99 each. Back in 2009, no one gave a shit about the Nintendo 64. It was every day you were finding N64 games just on the shelf at thrift stores. Goodwill was not checking eBay for prices. No one wanted them, so I scooped up dozens and dozens of N64 games. Pretty much worthless. And Roadsters, which I think is also worthless. But for $2, I'm not going to pass it up. Then after a little bit more hunting, I was also surprised again to see the 64. Somebody must have turned it in all, uh, all together. I looked around the cable section and I couldn't find cables for it, but this was only six dollars. And it's a little beat up, but I can... The quality of this camera is complete crap too. This was probably a five megapixel Casio camera. This is the best I had back in the day. The lighting is really terrible, and you can't really see my teeth in this video. It looks like I've been chewing on black licorice. I do have teeth, I promise. I mean, it's almost mint. Very nice. $30, it came with four games, though. The games aren't great, but it's Wario Land, six, um, not 64, Wario Land 4. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Tetris Worlds and the original Harry Potter. All that for $30. The way I look at it is I paid uh, 20 for this and then 250 each for the games. I only paid that much because as I was bidding on it, I, I guess I didn't see the shipping. I'm pretty sure it said free shipping and then when it was over, the shipping popped up. So I thought I was paying 22 but I'm not sure why I made that mistake. But $30, let me know what you think if I overpaid. Just be honest, tell me I'm a retard. Also at Goodwill, I found uh, a shadow pillow. So I remember buying this shadow pillow, and I think I did sell this to a friend locally for like 10 bucks or something. But it goes to show you, back in the day here, I was buying all kinds of stupid junk that would just fill up this room. A lot of serious crap that I would never purchase nowadays. Watch how I do this in the end here, guys, to close out the video. Boom. Arms in the back. Super proper. Super formal. Call me Jason Uppercrust the Third.